What up, internet? I am the PC Goblin. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a USB installer for Windows 10 so that I can nuke this computer and start it fresh. I've been running Windows on this for quite a while now, and all sorts of stuff have been installed on it, and I need to start fresh. So once we have the USB installer, we're going to go ahead and nuke this computer, and I'm going to show you how to start over fresh with Windows as well. So... The first thing you need to do is download the Windows 10 installation media tool. I'll have a link to this in the description below, so you can go check that there. But you just hit download tool now. And obviously this requires a USB flash drive. So you're going to want to read through that and accept it if you agree with it. And just in case you don't know where it downloads to, this will just be in your downloads folder. Right here. And on a side note, if you already have this tool and you're trying to install the latest version of Windows and the version you have is for a previous version of Windows, you're going to want to go download the tool again. So that way it downloads the latest version of Windows rather than that older version. So you're going to want to cr click Create Installation Media, hit Next, and this should automatically default for whatever PC you're going into. So that's what I'm doing. Choose USB flash drive. Choose the USB drive that you're going to be installing it onto. And we're going to go ahead and speed this up because it takes a long time to do. Okay, so when this is done, you just hit finish. And you now have a USB drive to use. So we're going to go ahead and restart. And you may need to go to the BIOS to do that. And that will be just F2 or delete. This motherboard has a boot menu that I can get to by hitting F11, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I did run into an issue where it wouldn't see my USB drive, even though I just created it, and I had to reinsert it, and then I also had to move my USB dongle for my wireless mouse into my monitor. And now that I've done that, I see it on the boot menu, and yeah, I'm choosing the UEFI SanDisk, because that's my USB drive. Not the USB SanDisk, I want the UEFI because that's what I'll boot to. I hit enter on that. And you want to choose your languages, time and currency format, keyboard, hit next. Hit install now. And then setup's going to start. If you have your Windows 10 key, great, go ahead and punch it in now. If you don't, that's fine, I'll show you how to activate it once we're back into Windows. Just choose I don't have a product key and then choose the version of Windows 10 that you have the key for. If you have Windows 10 Home, choose Windows 10 Home. If you have Pro, choose that. From my understanding it really doesn't matter. Once you throw in the key it'll activate it for whatever version you have. If you install Pro and you have Home it'll just put it to the Home level. I have Pro so I'm choosing Pro. I accept the license terms. Choose Custom. And you're going to want to go in here and delete all of the ones on the drive that you're going, going to be installing Windows on. So if you have more than one drive, be really careful with this. Make sure you're only deleting the partitions that are on the drive you want to install Windows on. And then once you have them all deleted, choose New. This should default to the maximum size. Say I can't go any bigger. If you want a smaller one, this is where you'll choose it, but I don't. So I'll hit Apply, hit OK. Format that. The big partition, this is where Windows is going to go. And I'm hitting next. It's going to copy over Windows. If you're using a USB 3 stick on a USB 3 port, this should go actually fairly quick. So when this is done, I'll show you what to do next. At this point, you're going to choose the settings that are best for you. So I'm in the US, so yes. And choose the US keyboard layout because that's where I'm at. If you're somewhere else or want the Dvorak keyboard layout, you know, choose that as appropriate. Don't want to add a second keyboard, so I'm going to skip that. And then I'm going to connect it to my network. And I wanted it to be discoverable, that's why I said that. So I'm going to hit next and set it up for personal use. Do not want to sign into my Microsoft account. If you do, you just punch in your information here. One of the reasons I don't want to do that is because I want to auto log in and not have a password. So I don't want to sign in with Microsoft instead. So I'm going to hit no. PC Goblin. And I don't want a password, so I'm going to leave that blank. If you want your activity history to be the same on all your devices, you want to hit yes on this. I don't, because I want every device to be its own and not be customized with 
with experiences, like it says, I don't want them to have my data either, so I'm choosing no. Don't want Cortana either. If you do, hit accept, but I don't want it. And I turn off all the privacy settings, so I don't have anything that they're spying on. Don't want an advertising ID. Don't want them to know my location. I'm okay with diagnostic data, so I'm gonna leave that to full. Um, if you don't want it, you know, you can turn it off. I mean, sort of turn it off, it switches it to basic, so. And I don't want tailored experiences, so I'm turning that off, hitting accept. Now that I'm in Windows, it pulls up Internet Explorer, or whatever they're calling it now, Edge, I guess. And it wants to restart so it can install the chipset on its own. Looks like it's installing the video drivers. And that looks really ugly, but this will look a lot better upon the restart. Well, that's it for this video. You're now inside of Windows and I've shown you how to create a USB installer to do it and how to erase your partition and start over fresh. So at this point, you don't have any of the software or whatever that your OEM built onto it. You got a fresh install. It's gonna go as fast as it possibly can at this point, but it's not quite done. At this point, you really shouldn't be using the computer for much, but check out my next video where I show you exactly what you need to do at this point moving forward. All the software and drivers and where to get it and how to get it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was really helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and leave a comment in the section below and hopefully I can earn your subscription. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. And like I said earlier, this isn't all that you need to do once you've finished installing Windows. There is drivers and some other software you should be installing afterwards. So check out my next video and I'll see you next time guys. Thank you so much for watching.